Hello, my name is Tori Harshman, and I'm very harsh. Live the harsh life of an assistant. So I need to switch out of this great type of fever and go into something a little more black. I got some tools and acquired some resources from the library. So I could craft useful things. I used my newly constructed tool to intimidate some botanists into giving me some weed, which had worked. They were scared for their lives, or just really friendly. They grew a lot of the shit. I began my deconstruction of the back of the library to turn into an office of some sort. I did this without any permission like a shady contractor. Then finally a librarian had showed up, and I thought he was going to complain about it, but he was just a little confused. I explained I was building the office for a social experiment, and he seemed alright with it. I was gathering wood the old fashioned way, and getting it from the bar, but the bartender didn't like this, so I had to find a new method. So I ended up having to go with new school boring tactics such as ordering it from Cargo Bay. I was rolling up that loud, someone must have heard or smelt it, whatever, and uh, so I passed them a lighter, they said that shit was good when they lit it up, so I had to sample it. And we both got highs, fuck, hell, whatever you want to say. I then waited to get my wood like any kid would by shooting nerf darts with a clown. I got it and it was done real quick like a first timer. I built my gated community like the young green haired entrepreneur I was. Oh yeah, and I could see through walls too. Not because of the weed I was smoking, but because of some goggles I was wearing. I finished the first addition to my office, a fine desk. I built the wall to add a little flavor and depth to this 2D paradise. I added some red chairs in front of my desk, and I built me a meat spike in the corner to really bring the office together. A wheelchair for that sexy paraplegic look, and finally some blue recliners to hold more asses. I was just rolling around the halls high enjoying my new handicap, and some bitch looking like Knuckles if he got electrocuted comes up and steals my wheelchair which the sonic fag achieves momentarily. I go easy on the fur human and just lay a few punches into it. Should've used my bat to lay that fucker out. Then the janitor gets in on the stealing my wheelchair fun. The custodian had tied his wrist to the wheelchair and was getting away until a not so shit officer tased him and dropped him out of it. I could just roll real smooth and rest my legs once again. I sat at my desk like a true kingpin, but with no empire. My request to party looked more creepier than a Craigslist ad. I passed out flyers everywhere I could. While through maintenance I found an open door. I picked up a hatchet and discovered some locker people. I grabbed the plant bag and I filled it up with those yellow and green leaves. I went back to my office and rolled up a lot of joints. I was doing it to stay sane in this paradise. I was rolling around enjoying my time when I saw some red mist in the halls. There was some type of shadow creature down by the red mist. As a team, we sliced and stomped and murdered this thing. Well, I think it was already dead and we were just destroying the body. Just beating on it. I of course rolled more weed. And put up figurines in my driveway. I then had two visitors in my office. Some tin can and that no good janitor. Up to no good, that Jander stole my bat. But it didn't really matter. Couldn't make many more. I decided to shave my head for a change of pace. I went to the bar and treated it like a Home Depot. Got my wood and headed out. I made myself a couple of bats for the extra protection. The hallways were getting pretty gory. Exploring the dark hallways, I found the janitor. I cracked him over the head with a whiskey bottle and stole the bat back. I was now dual wielding it. Only temporarily brought flight back in the situation. I got jumped and both my bats were taken from me. They jacked my damn bats. The doctors could try to fix my bruises and cuts, but they couldn't fix my ego and pride.